Take a walk along the beach in Oceanside and you'll see them. Lots and lots of them. Yeah, they're everywhere. I don't know what they are, but they're creepy. Creatures that look sort of like translucent pickles. But each one is actually made up of hundreds of individual organisms. These are called uh, pyrosome <coughs> tunicates. And last week they started washing up onto Oregon beaches. And we're not talking just a few hundred. The phenomenon caught the attention of Jim Young. They're curious little things. Young is a retired marine biologist with the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. He now lives in Oceanside. He says a few months back he noticed some pyrosomes washing ashore, but nothing like this. This is pretty rare. Mm -hmm. See this many of them. Rare because the creatures are normally found far offshore in the tropics. Young and other researchers at Oregon State University believe warmer ocean waters off our coast might be why the creatures are showing up here. Some reports that they uh, uh, on the beaches all the way up through maybe Canada, maybe up to Alaska along the Washington and Oregon coast. Back in May, OSU researchers discovered millions of the creatures in the waters off Oregon's coast. They shot this underwater video of them. It was the first time they had seen that many pyrosomes this far north. So the question now, why are they washing up on our beaches? Oh, well, nobody knows why they're coming in these masses like this. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. It's a mystery that is certainly drawing people to the beaches to see something they have never seen before. A visitor from the south that is harmless to touch, but still a bit unsettling. Yeah, they're slimy looking and they're... I don't want to step on them. I don't want to squish them. Yes, I'm watching my steps so I don't step on them. Now, researchers are concerned that if the pyrosomes that are still out there in the ocean die all at once and start to decompose, they could suck up a lot of the oxygen and therefore create a dead zone for other marine life. It is something that uh, the researchers, especially out at uh, OSU, have been tracking and will continue to track.